Welcome to Ross Reaps, separating the real from the fake. I am your host today, praising King Selassie. And I'm speaking today about the British. What is the British? I'm not speaking about the common man that lives in Britain. You know, I'm speaking about the British royalty. Those that took the benefits from the African slave trade. And it's not the British alone, of course. The French are involved, the Italians, the Germans, Germanic countries, all the European regions. And so, you know, you have some that are more guilty than others. Um, the British and the French being at the top um, the Italians being right there. Uh, you know, the, these are people that deserve to be scrutinized. They need to be examined very closely and determine, you know, how it is that their operations exist. You know, how is it that they committed these gross atrocities, you know, took the benefits, and never had to pay you know, back. So what is it that they do that's so effective to, to convince the global populations that their worth, their weight in gold? Propaganda. And their main source of propaganda is the BBC, British Bull. And this is Global Network. They're tied into Associate Press and Routers. It's essentially the same organization. There's the same people working for the same ends. Um, if one of those organizations fails, it hurts the other ones. We can phrase it in that way. And so, how is their propaganda effective? Well, they use others to do their dirty work. Um, you see that in the military with the wars, like for example in Syria. It was, it's the British that stand to benefit from toppling Bashar al-Assad. They're not alone, but certainly a lot of those natural resources again end up in Europe. And so, how come you don't hear about the British much when it comes to this war over the last seven or eight years or so? You know, even when this guy that um, they call Jihadi John, you know, stood up and, you know, did that film, um, he, he didn't mention the British. Now that's, that's something people should really recognize and think about. Because this was a man, not only him, but the so-called Beatles. That's why they were called the Beatles, was because they were all from, from London, supposedly. And so, these characters, you know, are being portrayed as being anti-Western. Okay, whatever Western is, right? Because normally you would, you would think that, that, that London would be the center of the Western world. So somebody help me. I mean, is there a different perception about what the West is when you're in London? I mean, do you think that the West is, you know, California? But regardless, you know, you would think the man was fairly well, well educated. He went to a, a prominent school and in England too, where people are actually educated. And you would think that he would know enough of history to know that, you know, the British are involved too. But he didn't call them out. He didn't call them out. Um, you have the communication channels. You know, when they report, uh, the British, they, they stay behind the scenes. They ask questions. They don't interject their view very often. They let others do that for them as if they don't have a stake. You know, if they're talking about the war in Syria, 
they're going to say, or Iran, for example, they're going to say, oh, you know, we, 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 we're on the side of the Iranians. What is this guy, uh, pedophile Trump, doing? He's the one that's screwing, you know. So they're going to point fingers to keep the attention on specific individuals that are saying things. And then that, those people end up being the culprits. And the British off the hook. You know, so, so that's how the propaganda works. They stay behind the scene. And they, they, they manage a stage you know, that that's, becomes the perception of everyone through their communication channels. That's the only view that people know. You know, there's a common phrases, two sides to every story. If you only hear one side, then most likely you would seem to lean towards that side, but it depends on who the presenter is. Because it's not a good presenter, the person would say, well, I haven't heard the other side of the story. I, I'm already believing, you know? So people are very um, vulnerable in this way. And the British have, through their propaganda networks, have managed to you know, detect these vulnerabilities and expose them and use them. I mean, they're the experts in propaganda. You know, the way that the, the language itself, the English language, okay, is perfected. There's, there's, there's so, the, the people in England supposedly speak proper English. The people over here obviously don't. You know, there's no name for it. It's American. It's called American. It's not proper. So the term proper itself is correct. Right? That's what it means. It means this is correct. It's, 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 a, it's a higher standard. It's supreme. And everything else is inferior. And so right away there's a prejudice. If, if you go over to England and, and speak, people are going to actually look at you like, nah, he ain't worth listening to. That's an American. You know, not everyone, but you know, there's these cultural prejudices. The people that know how it works, the propagandists, they'll be the ones that will listen to you because they don't have that prejudice because they know how it works. See? So it's through ignorance through that lack of knowledge that they're able to dissuade populations. And their, their education is superior. <clears throat> they teach the people facts. They um, give the information first. If you want the best information on, on the British Bull Network, um, the best time is like in the wee hours of the morning. You got the hard talks that airs in this area at four in the morning on Sunday. Okay, so this and the 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 the, uh, the following business weekly, you know, these are the programs that actually give you some cutting edge information, but they're not given during those um, you know, normal operating hours, and the main the mainstream time frames, and so therefore there's obviously less people that are going to listen to them. Now, why would you air the program that's most important to the least amount of people because you don't want most people to hear but at the same time they want to be able to claim that yeah we covered this you know when this, this stuff hits the fan they're gonna say oh you know we we talked about that you know it was a four in the morning they're not gonna say that they're just gonna say oh yeah we had a program hard talks that's one of our most popular shows you know and then just just the documentaries and stuff. They don't sell them, you know, through the uh, distribution channels like Amicon. You, you know, you, you, you know, some of these films, you know, you can't get them here in the United States. This is like, 
You know how sometimes the movies come out, like maybe in New York City earlier than they do in maybe some places in Georgia or Alabama or something, you know, or in the South in general. You know, so there's like a, there's a time where like people feel like they got something over somebody, an advantage. They saw the movie first. You know, everybody want to go see that movie first. They want to be the first to be able to get the album. And what are they doing other than taking something in? This knowledge, this is, might be some bad knowledge, and yet there's something they're taking in. They feel like they learned something over other people. So people are obsessed with being like superior, and this, you know, really that means that they're gods to themselves in their own sense. And that is the fundamental and doctrine of Satan. So that's how it works in these European nations. Those citizens are given information first. And people in these other subpar nations are, you know, left behind. Don't think because some guy, some guy with a big nose stands up and talks about you in the biggest country in the world. Don't think it's true now. Because there's other countries with far less a population with far greater wealth and power. Like through the GCHQ.